there are some practical solutions that don't cost a lot of money and they divide between new construction and existing buildings. And when you're planning something new, sometimes it's very easy, very inexpensive, sometimes it actually costs less to do it in a way that will protect the people better. It is far easier to prevent water from coming into buildings by designing them properly, and if the water does get into the buildings, dealing with the problem in a timely fashion, than it is to try and set up a system to filter all of this stuff out in case it's there. Because all the money you pour into a system to filter all this stuff out, you still have the mold there. A study in commercial buildings in New York State about the ways in which air moves around in the, in the building. Air moves around in buildings either because someone intended it to move that way or because it's moving that way accidentally. If, if you find air coming down a chimney through the furnace and out into the room spilling the combustion products into the room, that nobody, nobody, no engineer ever drew an arrow coming down the chimney showing that. But that happens. We find air coming down. If the air pressure down where the furnace is is lower than the air pressure outside, the chimney becomes an outdoor air intake. Most commercial buildings operate under um, negative airflow, uh, negative pressure, if you will, in certain areas. The air's got to find its way back to the main air handler. To do that, there has to be a positive pressure point and a negative pressure point to create a negative gradient. As soon as you start doing that, you're sucking air from anywhere and everywhere that it can. If it's air conditioning and it's hot and humid outside, where the hot, humid air is sucked in through the walls and the ceiling. It's being cooled off because it's approaching the gypsum board that's chilled by the air conditioner, and so you get condensation on the backside of the gypsum board, and that's when mold will grow on the backside of the gypsum board. So here's an unplanned airflow that results in a moisture problem in cooling conditions, and eventually mold growth. 